Alright guys, I'm back and I'm going to do an unboxing of the Xbox 360 Slim 4GB console. Um, these just have built-in memory, they don't have a hard drive. And any of my subscribers or anyone who's seen my video of my Modern Warfare 3 console would know that I have a... Okay, what did I not cut here? <coughs> you guys would know that I have a, um, a Modern Warfare 3 limited console. So you'd be thinking, okay, why do I need another Xbox? Well, the reason behind that is that it is a limited console. Oh my god, I'm having so much trouble with the freaking tape. But the reason behind that is that it is a limited console, and I want to do mods. Like, not software mods and JTAGging, because that's, you know, that's not right if you're hacking into their systems and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is, like, physical mods, like lights and stuff. And, um... And I don't want to ruin a limited edition console by breaking the uh, warranty seal on it. In this little pocket over here, we've got your manuals and information. And some other paperwork that they include. Alright. In this um, compartment... Right here... We've got our standard black wireless controller. With Duracell batteries. Who I presume Microsoft has signed a contract with. Which is why they include... Uh, Duracell batteries. In Duracells, they last a while, but I don't use those batteries. I use the rechargeable plain charge kits. So I'm going to put this all back in here because I already have several controllers, so I don't need another one. So I'll just leave this in the box. In this pocket, you've got. This, the power cord, which comes out of your wall socket and into this PC style connector. <clears throat> and then you've got the brick, which you plug that cable into. And on the other side, you've got your Xbox plug. You've also got composite cables. I don't even see why they include these anymore. I don't think very many people use this anymore. Um, so, I don't see why that's included. So, again, that's something I won't be using because I already have component cables. And I'm going to hopefully get a new TV that supports HDMI soon. You've got foam. This is like thick foam. It's not that uh, white styrofoam. That's thicker stuff. And then you've got your main thing and another foam padding insert on the bottom. So now, here's the main event that we all came to see, right? It's wrapped in this white foam padding. I'm really bad at describing stuff. Everything is foam to me. But it's that, uh, just a nice little layer that keeps it from scratching and... And then, we've got our Xbox 360 Slim. The 4 gigabyte is matte. See how it's not shiny and the button is shiny around there, that little piece. But the rest is matte with some shiny accents. And the, the 250 gig one used to be shiny until they made it matte as well. Um, but I don't know if that one has chrome trim or not. 
Plus, I already have a hard drive. Anyways, so let me pull that out of my Xbox real quick. accidentally hit the power on my other Xbox, but this is the hard drive out of it. The limited Modern Warfare 3 console comes with a 320 gig. And the easiest way to like have my account transferred over is just to use the same hard drive. So, to get to your hard drive bay, on the side of the console here, there's a little lever right there. That you pull down, see it move, and then your thing just comes off hard drive goes in like this and they've got slants so it only fits in one way clips in put your panel back on and that's your 360 slim the buttons are now touch touch sensitive so they don't they don't click you just touch them and they turn on um, yeah and um, like I said, the reason that I got this is because I want to do some hardware mods. And basically what I'm talking about is I want to water cool this. I'm going to take out the stock fan in there and run water cooling systems. So, because if I use this thing for a long period of time, like if I play for a whole day or something, it gets, it, I mean, it doesn't red ring, but you can feel the hot air coming out of it. And it... To me, I just don't like f feeling my devices get really warm. So I'm going to put a water cooling system on here. Plus, it, it looks cool, you know. So I suppose I'll do some videos on that once I get the money to do the water cooling system. And if you notice, this is my 49th video. So you might want to subscribe and see what number 50 is. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next videos.